I do play with a lot of high level players that are very much more advanced than I am and that's perfectly fine. I actually plan this to be a very not complicated, easygoing combo and equipment video for a lot of new players. Now please, do not get discouraged. Treat my gear as if I'm using one slot like everyone else. I've worked really hard on this character, so I actually do not mean to flex and I do not mean to actually show off my equipment to anybody in some way that might offend you but you know we're all here to play a game now i am not currently cap but this was the previous cap stats that you can follow so before you can max out your str dex and crt you can also Put the rest of your stats on VIT because you need that for HP manipulation. These are my Owl Crystals. I have Oval, Sea Muscle, T King, Zoro 3, Zoro 2. Now let's go to my page 2. My page 2 is a mix of resistance and magic resistance. So we have Vate and Death, Ignatz, T King, Garo, and Levium. These are my equipment. So HP set, very important. So this HP set actually consists of max HP and delay manipulation. So we can use this set particularly to buff our Berserk and to buff our HP so we can use Bloodthirst and Berserk. Very good. It has quick use and it has quick cool on it. Our buff set. This is our initiator set. I use this set so I can get the um, dam damage based auto skill buffs from Glory Cape and Enhancement AI. Aussie Model and Realist Bot are actually very good because they both have auto skill rate. Realist Bot actually gives you plus 11% auto skill rate, which is pretty massive. And Aussie Model actually lets you heal your MP by attack while you're transitioning sets. It's very good. So now we're going to go on to my negate set. Well, this is my favorite type of resistance set. I know a lot of people typically like to use Bellow of Order and stuff like that, but I do have a set for that as well. It's not really refined because I haven't had the time nor the effort to really want to invest in that because I already have a negate set but all right you know we have the common ruin motor saw we have dragon mail I'm using union sams I know I could use bodyguard cardal but because I want to do a little bit more damage and be able to actually use dual blow then I'm, I might have to switch my stuff around but I'll get on that later I have ensis shield two rudolphs and then dark sight. All right, so basically every single element set is kind of copy and paste. The only thing that really switches is the additional. So we have schmuck for neutral. We have dark head guard for dark. We use Pratson on the light. And then on every other element, we use Force Helm. Now for the skill set, I pretty much just use Red Tengu, Bell of Order, Onigawara, and Wild Ring. This is literally only when I want to use Valkyrie Blade. I can also use Wandering Clothes during that, but the bosses that I typically use it at kind of hit a little hard while they're in their... Um, shield phase so i just try to give myself some resistance while i'm at it and then our mp set that's for doing the berserk tech which i'll probably show you later along the video and if i don't show it basically you use a gildery magic once you equip this set you use berserk and you force close the game and then you log back in 
and you're able to have the nine minutes of berserk very cool now let's show you my relics my relics consist of one four piece and 15 three pieces that makes up 16 one percent melees so basically you have a maximum of 16 percent melee so now we're going to get into combos we're going to be doing the standard three combos for players that don't have dual blow so let's get started with the non dual blow combos if you are a non dual blow player we're going to just use the standard buff combos that we typically do Esperanza first switch to your buff set HP set buff go and then after the sword tempest you just attack pretty standard stuff now if you want to use berserk and not have dual blow here's what you do we're gonna buff like normal whatever let's just say that we just buffed fully so now we have to make sure that we use dash dash is very important for berserk Dash, you want to spam it until you're at least to 10% MP. Very, very, very important. So now that we're under 10% max MP, we we'll do this, that, then we use that, then we turn on the auto attack. There we go. We have the 12 seconds worth of attack speed buff now if you are a dual blow player we're gonna buff like normal very very standard Do this one. Or we can use the item delay tech. Get to ten percent. Do that. There we go. Pretty standard stuff. Now, the last set that I want to show you is not really always needed, but it does help. Here we have Guild Room Magic. And what we're going to do is we're going to use Berserk. And then we're going to shut off the game. So we're going to go back into Iruna. Now that we're back into Iruna, you should notice that your delay is no longer there. And we still have the nine minutes worth of Berserk buff. Well, there's my little tech and review guide on Gladiator 2023. Very simple. Um, you can replicate a lot of the things that I'm using. You can subside it for a lot of different stuff. 